if you're someone who automatically assumes the worst, jumps to conclusions, gets stuck remembering the past, compares yourself to other people, to other people's timelines, relationships, then you definitely want to stay tuned for this one. What I want to take some time and talk to you about today is thought patterns that are typically related to anxious attachment. Now, whilst actually everyone can fall into these, if you do relate to having an anxious attachment, it's possible that you will really see yourself falling into one or more of these patterns. Before I share with you three quite unhelpful anxious attachment thinking patterns, I am going to introduce myself. So I'm Carly Ann, I'm an attachment coach and founder of the Attachment Recovery Gym, which is an online membership for people that are doing the inner work on healing the past and becoming more secure. Everyone that reaches out to me, in fact, every person falls into having unhelpful, negative, automatic thoughts. It's definitely part of being human. When you have an insecure attachment style, you can be more prone to getting stuck in spirals of unhelpful thinking. So automatic thoughts come to your mind without you trying. You don't have control over that. It's if you see someone that reminds you of another person. You can't stop yourself thinking that. So they're automatic. They come in without your control. Doesn't mean that you can't do anything once they come into your mind. Doesn't mean that we can't become the observer. We can detach ourselves and things like that. But the word automatic kind of explains itself. So automatic unhelpful thoughts are those thoughts that hurt you, shame you, keep you stuck in a spiral. If you're not aware of them, the problem is then that you might feed them and really get stuck in them and lose yourself in them. They come to your mind about a situation that could be quite neutral, a fair situation, and yet we seem to make it bigger than it is. And that's the spiral, right? When something happens and before you know it, your thoughts are over here. And the more you stay in the automatic thoughts, the harder it is to get out of them. I always believe that the sooner we can get ourselves out of that spiral, the sooner that we can catch ourselves, the better. Because the deeper and deeper we go into that overthinking and that ruminating, it can just take up hours, if not days, of your time. So I'm going to share three common unhelpful thinking patterns that I see regularly, particularly with anxious attachment. So the first is recalling memories. People that have an anxious attachment primarily can have a tendency to really cling on to the past, to really obsess and ruminate over things that have happened to them in the past. And it's not through fault. It's not through choice. It's not to say that you're stuck there. Once you become aware and you put certain things in place, you can break free from this. But it's just really key that you understand that that can happen the difficulty with that is, is that it can lead you into a victim mode, why me mode, and that can stop us taking responsibility and seeing change. So it's not responsibility is not blame ever. It's just that it can stop us moving on if we get stuck in the past and stuck in memories. Now, either this is a thinking pattern and you can break free from this and get help and follow strategies or it could be that you need some professional help with that. The next pattern is comparing yourself negatively. Now, this could be comparing yourself in terms of how you look, comparing yourself to your partner's ex, comparing yourself to your ex's new partner. It can also be comparing your relationship. So, thinking that your relationship isn't as happy, isn't as exciting as someone else's. It really depends, but it can be that comparison, which obviously then means that you're not focused on your path and you're losing such valuable, precious time because you're comparing yourself to something that you might not even have actually that much information about. And the third pattern is jumping to conclusions. So we jump to conclusions when we 
make negative kind of automatic assumptions about a situation. So the reason why someone isn't messaging us back or the reason why our partner wants to go away for the weekend and it is usually negative. It's usually us putting ourselves down, linking it to abandonment, rejection in some way. And it can be really painful because it just means that you can really miss out on, you know, your own life your own day, you could lose hours and hours thinking about this possible scenario only to find out further down the line that all is good and all that's happened is you've lost some of your precious, precious time. So just to recap, we have recalling memories, comparing yourself negatively and jumping to conclusions. That is actually just a partial list of unhelpful thinking patterns that we can fall into. It's so useful. We never want to undervalue the power of being able to recognize and acknowledge the patterns that you're falling into. That's one of the first steps for us to be able to choose again, for us to be able to reframe and choose different thoughts, to be completely honest with you. I know how simple that makes it sound. Now, if you do want to learn more about unhelpful thinking patterns, Inside the attachment recovery gym in March, so it depends on whether you're watching this, whether you can join us live or you can catch the replay, but I'm running a one-off workshop on this very topic where we're going to look at unhelpful thinking patterns and how we can break free from them. So what are some of the sort of most popular researched evidence-based tools that we can use to manage our anxious patterns. So if you do fall into any of these patterns, I definitely welcome you to join the attachment recovery gym. I hope that you found this useful and I will be back here again soon.